Hey guys, welcome to Tech Approved. So today LG just released a new crazy device. Hopefully this new device will bring LG back to their roots and offer a reason for people to go back to them. So nowadays we see phones that are just plain, nothing special compared to the crazy concepts we had seen in the early 2000s. Today this all changes with the LG Wing. LG has been showing us dual screen devices for some time now by offering a case that adds a second screen such as with the LG GAX. Now LG has made a new product that has not one but two displays and this is all without any extra case. So this is a new display that can simply be rotated. So there are basically two displays, one 6.8 inch display without any bezels but the second display, the more interesting one, hides behind the first and it is a 3.9 inch display. So you're probably wondering how do you get access to this smaller display. So you simply rotate the top display and it goes, it slides up to the top and you have your two displays in a wing style format, hence the name LG Wing. So this is a quite an interesting feature as it offers better a better multitasking experience. This is quite similar to what Samsung and Microsoft is trying to offer with their dual screen devices or Samsung with their full foldable device, such as the Galaxy Z Fold 2. So this is quite interesting as it seems like these devices will be cheaper, but we won't, we won't be having the same the same folding of the display but you're still going to be having the multitasking abilities so this new display has received many new features to make it more useful such as enabling the ability to turn it off so you can hold on to the device without messing with things this is quite a cool device as it looks like you'll be able to multitask the same way you can with a bigger device so you're probably looking at the device wondering where is the selfie camera LG has decided to use a motorized system that we've seen in other past devices that pops the camera out of the device when needed. The reason why this device is so cool is because that it gives the ability for people to use a regular phone when they want, but for multitasking you can easily rotate the display. It's so cool that we are moving towards a world with more multitasking and more functionality from fewer devices, so it's great to see some new innovation. As in the f future, there's probably going to be a world where you're going to have one device and your one device will be able to be your everything, your laptop, your phone, your desktop, it can, it's basically going to be able to do everything you need. So another cool feature is that basically LG has shown us a couple of features on how you can use the two displays such as using a map and calling at the same time and stuff like that. So one that I found really interesting is that you can use the top display as a viewfinder and you can use the bottom one to control a camera and you can actually move the camera using a little cursor type thing and you can actually position it where you want to. So another cool feature is that LG has actually included a whole gimbal into this phone so you can use this phone without having to use something like one of DJI's gimbals and without having to pay for something like that and something that's just made into your phone that seems like works quite well. Now this one has many moving parts so you're probably wondering will this device be able to last for me? Well LG has told us that this device is quite is quite good and that it has been tested quite extensively and that it should be able to last for quite long. LG has told us that the device has been tested for 200,000 rotations which should last you about 5 years if you were to rotate it 100 times per day. So LG decided to go with the slower but still very capable Snapdragon 765G with 5G of course and 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage. Now this is not flagship 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 performance as you're not getting as the you're not getting the 865, you're getting the 765, but the 765 is still quite a good processor and you shouldn't really have any slowdowns. One thing that would be interesting to see is more RAM as if multitasking is something that they're pushing 
It's probably better to have more RAM if you're trying to have more applications open at the same time. Now, this device gets a pretty standard for nowadays 4000 mAh battery. So it's going to be quite interesting to see if this device will be able to have decent battery life even with the second display. Now obviously with the uh, 765, we have seen that it is not a power it's not as power hungry as the 865, so hopefully with some optimization by LG and with Android 11 coming up soon, we will have good battery life on this new LG Wing. So you're probably also wondering why if this device is a lot heavier and thicker than other devices. Though you're probably happy to know that LG has managed to get the display thin and light and the device weighs about 260 grams, so a little bit heavier than your average phone and the device is 0.43 inches thick. Now obviously this is a little bit heavier and thicker than a regular phone but for the added benefit you're getting it's probably something that might be good for considering for you. And yeah, that's basically it for the new LG Wing. So we haven't been given a price on this, but speculation is around $1,000. So yes, it is quite a lot, but for what we're seeing from Microsoft and Samsung at around $2,000, $1,500, this device is much cheaper than those. But obviously, these aren't official prices, so we could see it being less or more, and the device could probably go on sale. So. Uh, I'd probably say that it's going to be somewhere around 900 So yeah, and that's basically it. That's all we know about the LG Wing right now. And yeah, I'm looking forward to this new device as I think in the next few years, you're going to be seeing some really cool interesting concepts. Thanks for watching today's video and be sure to subscribe if you want more videos like today's from us.